Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Chrissy. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Today I do have a haul for you guys. This is my last haul of 2021. I just wanted to share with you guys what coats I'll be wearing this winter season. I have been sitting on these coats. I ordered them probably last month, but I haven't really been doing much of anything aside from working. So now that I'm on holiday break, I can kind of, you know, get into the swing of things. Also, the weather did start to get a little bit colder. So, you know, we could really dress for the winter. I'm wearing this little jogger set right now because a lot of the times when I'm running errands and stuff on the weekends, I like to just throw my coat on or vest um, or whatever the case is. So I'm going to insert some pictures just so you guys can see how I style these little sets. And I'll show y'all how I style my coats as well. But yeah, just for reference, my hoodie is from Aritzia. My joggers are from H&M. And the hoodie is an extra small. Aritzia stuff runs really big. And then my bottoms are a small from H&M. Y'all know their stuff runs a little bit big too. But I don't like for my joggers to fit too loose. Y'all hear me say it a thousand times. But I dress for my body type. So I just feel like if my bottoms are too big, it's going to get sloppy. And I don't really want that. But anyways, guys, we're going to get right into the haul. I do have coats from different places. So it's kind of like a collective haul. But I'll let you guys know. Pretty little thing. Um, Aritzia. Zara and Misguided. That's where you guys will be seeing coats from today. Yeah guys, we're just gonna get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first coat that I want to show y'all, this is from Pretty Little Thing and this is in like this pretty grayish, um, it's like a really light gray. It gives off like these blue hues but it's this light gray and it's an ankle length jacket. I did get the petite version but I'm really short and they only had bigger sizes left so I'm going to link the sizes that I did get down below but it ended up working out because it gave me like this oversized look with the jogger set that I'm wearing now. I actually wore it today with a pair of um, 990s so I'll insert a picture just so you guys can see how that looks. The quality is really good. It's heavy. It is lined on the inside with like this satin type of nylon material but I'll turn it around so you guys can see I'm trying to hold it up but it literally goes down to my ankle like I'm on my tippy toes right now just trying to show you guys how it is it does have this um big elongated collar on the front and I'm gonna try this one on for you guys I'll insert pictures of the rest of them only because I wore this jogger set today like I said and I wore it with the jacket and it really was like a cute little situation. So when I wear these, I like to pull the hood out and let it sit over top. But yeah, it's just this oversized, like really cute vibe. Um, I had a hair appointment. I didn't do much today, but y'all know I like to look cute when I step out. So yeah, just a cute little, let me move my hair. It's just like a cute little, you know, vibe and like I said I did wear my 990s with this so it was given like an all gray and white like monochromatic look it was really cute so yeah guys I'm going to insert pictures of this photo so you guys could see how you know long it is on me if you're taller of course it's going to stop at like a different point of your whether it's your ankle or like a little bit um further up but I'm 5'2 and this literally goes all the way down to my ankle so Alright guys, so the next item, we have this long black faux leather trench coat and this is also from Pretty Little Thing. This one has like this button flap detail on the shoulders. It's also collared and it has buttons up and down as well. This one did come with a belt, but I like to wear it open. Um, that's just the vibe that I like to go for, but it does come with a belt and you can like tie it around. This one is heavy as well. It doesn't really feel like faux leather to me. It kind of feels like real leather um, just off the touch of it. It's pretty soft. But um, this one goes with the type of... Um, you guys know the look that I'm talking about. Like when you wear your little trench with your jogger outfit. So I originally styled this. Um, it's not even a set. Like I said, the top, the hoodie is from Aritzia. And the bottoms are from H&M. I'm going to style these coats a couple different ways though. So I'll show you how to do a dressy look. And then I'll show you how to do like a chill street look basically. If you want to wear it with a jogger set like this. And then throw some sneakers on. But um, I'm standing on my tippy toes. This is how it looks. So I'll just insert photos and other footage. So you guys can see how I styled it. But I just wanted to try it on 
with what I'm already wearing so you guys could get like a little simple idea. All right guys, so the next coat that I wanna show y'all is my Super Puff from Aritzia. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Aritzia, but their Super Puff is like their best selling coat. They have a few different ones, but I got the Super Puff Bomber because it's like the most cropped one. Y'all know I like to wear my stuff cropped. So as you can see, it has this crop detail on the waist and then it has this cloth material. So this is like, gives it the bomber vibe. Um, it's super puffy, which is how I like my puffer coats. I don't like my puffer coats to be too thin or just not like, you know, built enough. I feel like that defeats the purpose. So it does have a hood, um, has the logo on the front of the hood. The hood is detachable, which I really like. And then it has these little um, drawstrings to where you can pull it and make the hood tighter on your head. Um, now, I will tell you guys, Aritzia, their sizing is a little bit off. Like I said, the hoodie that I'm wearing now is uh, extra small and this jacket is a 2XS. I normally wear a medium or a large, so that kind of just gives you an idea of how their items run. Their items run really big. But yeah guys, I love the color of this one. As you guys can see, sort of with everything else that I've showed you so far, we're all in the same color scheme. There's only one coat that's kind of just out of the color scheme, but the jacket is very thick. The material is great. The material on the inside, I'm not sure what you would call it. I'll leave a description down below, but it's really comfortable on the inside as well because you know that's the part that's going to actually be touching your body. You put your arms in and stuff like that, so... Yeah, guys, this is the Super Puff Bomber from Aritzia, and I really love this. This is my everyday coat, so I wear this one to work. Um, if I just got to get up and go and it's a cold day, then I'll throw this on. The other ones are just for, like, if I'm going outside, if I'm trying to catch a vibe. All right, guys, so now I want to show you this black vest, and this black vest is from Zara. Y'all already know Zara is my jam. Like, Zara is one of those stores that I could go in and get a whole outfit. Literally, the top, the bottom, the shoes, the accessories, everything out of Zara. So that's one of my favorite stores. But anyways, this, um, this little bomber vest is from Zara. It is quilted, so it has, like, that bomber type of vibe. It does have pockets and it also has this zip detail going up the front and you can either wear the collar like up or you can flap it down if you want to wear like a hoodie with it. So I'm going to throw it on. I might as well because I did with the other ones. This is just to show y'all that you could be chill like for example I said today I had a hair appointment I only ran to my hair appointment but I don't really do much y'all know with everything going on with COVID like any opportunity I get to go outside, I want to use that as opportunity to get dressed because I'm not really doing too much, you know? Aside from going to work, running little errands, like I might go out here and there, but not as much as I normally would. So this is the vest just thrown on what I have on today. My little hoodie and my um, joggers. So even that is super cute. I would wear this with the same sneakers just on my 990s. Or if you have like moon boots, I would do moon boots with some leggings. Even if you're into like forces, you could wear a pair of Air Force Ones with this. And I feel like that would be cute. But if you want to do like a legging situation, you could do a boot. Some Uggs, like the furry Uggs. Or you could do um moon boots. So, Yeah. So yeah guys, just this chill little oh, I'm running to the market, running to Target, whatever. Still look cute. Alright guys, so moving right along. Next we have this raincoat type of vibe and this is from Pretty Little Thing. I was so hyped to get this because I feel like I never am prepared for the rain. So now, after I got this, I wore it with like some gray joggers. Not the ones that I have on today. But I wore it with like some gray joggers. I wore a sweatshirt in my 990s and I just threw this on. It was a rainy day. It really was like a little rainy day vibe. I had my little sunglasses like, I don't know, it just was a little vibe. But it's not as long as ankle length. It hits me kind of like sort of below the back of my knees. So I'll insert um, footage just so you guys can see how it fits. But this one was really cheap. Um, it just was a quick pickup. I think it was like $12. But it's always good to have a raincoat. You know rainy days come. You throw your little rain boots on, your little coat. You don't really have to worry about having an umbrella. Me personally, I don't like to carry umbrellas because I'm always carrying something else. Like I'm always doing something. So I just feel like it's a hassle to carry an umbrella. So if I have this little like, like nylon material and I throw the hood on, got my rain boots on, I'm good to go. So... 
yeah that was just a quick pickup y'all all right guys so last but not least like i said this is the one that's out of my color scheme so, so this is just a teddy coat from misguided and i did also go for the oversized look with this so like i said i'm going to insert the um footage down below so you guys could see but i feel like a really cute look for this is going to be like a cream sweatsuit or you could do like a white um or you could do like a white sweatsuit. I do have these white joggers. These white um, Alexander Wang joggers. So I might not even do a sweatsuit. I might just do that with like a sweatshirt. And then throw this on. And then I'll probably do like a boot. Um, then I'll probably do like a boot. Or I could do a sneaker. Could do my um, low dunks or whatever they're called. But yeah guys you can't go wrong with a teddy coat. They're just super cute. And y'all know nude is like my color. This little like light chestnut type of color. So it does have a collar. It has deep pockets. You know? So yeah, that's that. So yeah, guys, that's all the coats that I have for you today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I will be leaving the sizes and the links for each coat down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing. But like I said, I really just wanted to share with you guys what I'm wearing this winter. Sometimes it could be tricky, like you have your outfit, but you don't really have your coat planned out. Or you don't really know like what type of coat you could wear to still be cute but still be warm. So I just wanted to, you know, share my pics with you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys in the next video.